amazing, amazing news. <laughs> so I just figured out a way um, officially to be able to go back to school. Um, it was 2013. I was really just overwhelmed. Um, I wasn't able, I don't think at the time I wasn't able to handle school emotionally and mentally during that time. So me dropping out, I felt, I felt okay about it. Um, but since then, I've just been still, you know, spinning my wheels. I was almost a straight A student when I was, uh, going to college. So not like in, um, when I was like in high school, I was not a straight A student, but like when I was in college, I was. Um, anyway, <sighs> I'm just so grateful that I can go back to school. I mean, there's nothing else better than having like that structure and just being able to learn and make goals and look forward to things. And it's like, I wish if I could like be in school for like the rest of my life. <laughs> like I just, um, anyway, so I'll be able to go back in the springtime. So it's like I have six months to prepare myself. Um, I do know that now I, I know how to be good in school. And the thing is I really want to continue to take care of my health um, and, you know, do a cleanse and so that my brain can actually work. And I don't have to, like, when I'm studying, <gasps> read something over, like, five times just because I'm not grasping it. So... I have six months to prepare myself, and I want to, yeah, I just need to prepare. I need to, like, uh, start getting on a schedule where I'm, like, getting back into reading and making sure at least I'm reading, like, an hour a day, you know, just to get my brain focused on that. And I'm actually working on jigsaw puzzles as well at, at work on the computer, but I want to, like, actually have, like, a, a jigsaw puzzle that I can work on, like, um, <sighs> The, with the actual pieces, not just on the computer screen. But, I don't know. What else? Um, yeah, it's just really interesting because when I made that video, the one about the Turtle Blues, and I was making all those, um, like in the, I was making those um, annotations, and I was talking about how, like, uh, the Lord is, like, lifting burdens and stuff like that. It's like, when I was making that video, and I was putting the ad annotations on there I just felt inspiration and I felt completely like connected to God when I was making that video and it was just like I really felt within my spirit that you know the Savior was going to lift my burdens and what other burden is there there's like financial burden there's you know other types of burden but I'm glad that you know I, I just I'm glad that I have a chance a second chance um, and so yeah oh let me tell you this okay so today <laughs> um, I went off the back bandwagon again but let me tell you what's going on okay so so we're gonna talk about my raw food diet okay so it was on Saturday I was at work I was stressed out and um, I had salad and then I had some goat cheese because of my stress you know me being stressed out I ate too much goat cheese I ate it like pretty much like the whole thing and um, I didn't feel it really way down during that like I was just like oh you know I didn't need to do that next day Sunday um, I'm in my house and I'm so far doing good like I went to the grocery store you'll be able to see this video and that's the raw food recipe the one with the zucchini noodles and the mango dressing. So that Sunday, I had enough discipline to walk to the grocery store and get the ingredients for that raw uh, mango zucchini noodle dressing recipe. Um, I got home and then I was watching a YouTube blogger. Her name is Trisha Paytas, which I love Trisha Paytas. Like she's really helped me out a lot on just getting comfortable with you, you know, making YouTube videos. Like, honestly, like, I just make YouTube videos. It's really for me. And then if some, you know, people actually happen to enjoy it or they feel inspired, then then that's amazing, you know. Um, and I feel like that's just the way to go. Like, I make videos not to impress people. 
I just kind of do it like, and that's what she is that I was just eating. It, it's for myself, you know? Um, and it's just like, it, when I do that, it makes me a lot more freer to make videos. But Trisha Paytas has really helped me out. Now, you know, Trisha Paytas, she's not working on the same goals as me. Um, you know, she has an eating disorder. She likes to binge eat a lot. She makes mukbang videos. And it's just like, you know, and her personality is different than me and everything like that. But I feel like I've learned so much from her just about you know how to make a YouTube channel and just how to get comfortable and uh, you know she's really just comfortable with her own personality it's very unique like it's not like uh, you know like your everyday or you know average YouTube personality it's just she's Trisha Paytas you know and it's like I have my own personality so I just make my videos and and that's it you know I have fun doing this um, anyway I kind of got off a tangent. So I was watching Church of Hades on uh, Sunday, and she was eating a Taco Bell cinnamon bun. And she was doing a mukbang show, and I was just watching it. And she just made it look so freaking good. She was like, oh my goodness, this is so good. You know, she went into the, like, a second drive-thru. She got her and other. And so then it's just like the temptation overcame me. And I was just like, I want F the bandwagon. So then that day I ended up ordering me a pizza. Because I was just like, you know, like I remember I was telling y'all, I was like obsessed with ordering that freaking pizza. When I got it though, it did not, it didn't, you know, uh, produce the feeling that I was wanting it to produce. Like, you know, back in the day when I used to eat, uh, there was something euphoric about it. It's just that euphoria is just gone like I'm not I don't look forward to eating that stuff anymore I just really don't I just don't have any desire now okay so yeah I ordered the pizza let me just gosh y'all I need to start writing notes anyway um just because they would like you know I would like to have it be organized just for myself you know I don't like to be all over the place but um, okay, so yeah, that day I ordered me a small pizza. It was at Howard Howie's. It was a vegetarian. And I put like a half avocado on there. And then I had a 7-Up. That was uh, Sunday. Monday, I made that video where I talked about I'm going to have a really fun day. It was on the 27th. And um, I just wanted to kick it and just have fun. But it was so funny because I kept going to all these different restaurants. And I'm like, the sky is the limit. This is my cheat day. And I kept going to all these different restaurants, and I was just sitting there looking at the menu, and I'm like, do I really freaking want this? I don't even want this. Like, I don't want this. It's just like my brain, uh, you know, my the way my uh, past brain would work is it's, it would make me believe that I wanted this. So I went to, like, you know, two different restaurants. I finally ended up getting something. Um, it was like a, at a sandwich place called Jersey Mike's. Um... And it wasn't even good. Like, I mean, it wasn't bad. It's just, you know, my past self would have been like, oh my goodness, this is good. I want to get like, you know, second some, something else. Like, you know, I just was not fulfilled the way I used to be. Uh, so today, <laughs> I'm just telling y'all what's going on, okay? So today, I was like, at first I was going to start off good and then I had... Um, trying to eat the leftovers of that recipe that I made, which I'll show you on um, another video. But uh, I got, I went to Costa Vida, and I rationalized, and I was thinking like, oh, like I want to get me the chicken thing, you know. And um, so that was earlier today. And I did, I did have a Taco Bud cinnamon bun, and I'm going to tell you all those things. They, those things are good, but it's like I don't crave it, you know what I mean? So, right now it's like 9 o'clock, and I just don't have the desire anymore. It just doesn't make me happy the way it used to. And... I was making my green drink for tomorrow because I'm like, you know, I want to. I want to do the raw food now. I'm looking forward to it. It's like my body appreciates it. So I was making my green drink. I'm going to, you know, um, I put it in the fridge so I can take it to work tomorrow so that I won't 
try to rationalize my way of not, you know, out of making it. And I took a, a little sip and my body was just like, please, Virginia, put this back into your body. Like, please. Like, I could just feel, like, I, I mean, I, was, <laughs> I, I don't want to, like, start crying, but it's like I could feel my body just rejoicing when I had that green drink. And it was just, it was like my body was just, like, filled with love. And it was just like, you know, I want this. I don't want all this other crappy food. And, you know, in the past, like, when I would eat, like, horrible stuff, it's like my body never wanted it, you know? And when I ate that pizza, my body was, like, having to work overtime. So it's it's like I'm actually starting to feel that love for myself, you know? And, um, and I really feel like it's so important to just love your body just love it you know it's it's just a beautiful beautiful gift and just listen to your body you know um my body is telling me like you know it's very gentle with me you know it was very understanding when um i ate my pizza it was it had to work over time and it was just like oh please virginia but you know it wasn't harsh with me it wasn't mean to me it was just you know understanding um but yeah, when I had that green drink, I was just like, it's just like my body was just like, oh, thank you so much, you know? <sighs> anyway, I just think it's so beautiful. Like, food is love. It truly is. And food, I think, is meant to give you that love energy. It's not really meant to, you know, give that, you know, energy that we think of where it's just like, yeah. It gives you like a love energy where it's like you're filled with love and you just want to go out into, you know, go out in the world and just love people. That's like the energy. That's like the true energy. Not this fake energy, like not, you know, caffeine and sugar and crashes and all this crazy stuff. It's literally meant to fill your whole being with love and light and want to share that love with people. So, anyway, uh,. I went off the bandwagon, but there's no guilt. There's just pure, just love, understanding, gentleness, and it's just excitement. I'm actually excited. It's like I actually want the good stuff now because it's like I have a newer appreciation for my body, and I'm just like, you know, you beautiful vessel. Like, I want to take care of you. And so that's what we're here to do. Like we're here to love other people, but we're here to actually get to that point where we can actually love ourselves, you know, and be gentle with ourselves. Like even, you know, when we fall short or whatever, it's like we got to, you know, anchor in that love and just, and just, and that's the thing that really makes you move forward. That's the thing that motivates you is like when you just say, you know what, we're going to do good because you know, it's just, that's what you want. Like, you want that, you know? Uh, so, yeah, I've been talking about, uh, talking for about almost 14 minutes. Um, I don't think that it was a bad experience. I think it was a good experience for me to do. Because then I just realized I got to the freaking point. I don't want freaking bad food anymore. I just don't want it. And that is, like, the hugest triumph in like the history of my whole freaking life to actually get to this point where it's like I don't have the desire to do that anymore. That's, I mean, it's significant. But, you know, I think that it, it's, um, it's kind of like, it's, it's like being delivered, you know? And maybe that's what, uh, man, maybe that's what my video was about when I was doing the Turtle Blues. And it seemed like it was a depression video. Like, I mean, you know, it was a tough day. But, like, I wasn't really, that day I wasn't really depressed. It was just, like, I mean, I guess I was really looking at my life. And, you know, it was, like, this all, you know, this sad music and everything like that. But I used that as an opportunity. Like, my hair was, like, freaking, you know, just, it was, my hair looked horrible. I was, like, you know, I had sweat all over me. Like, I just looked like a mess. But... I allowed myself to be 
shown in that light so that people can, you know, connect to that message about, you know, having your burdens lifted, you know? And so um, I think that is a beautiful part of life where it's like uh, your imperfections or your, the, the things that, you know, the times that you fall short, you use that as an opportunity to show that side of you and not be ashamed of that side of you because you can really change somebody, you know? So like if someone was watching my, you know, Turtle Blues video and they were like really sad that day or something, then, you know, they could connect to this, uh, you know, expression of somebody that it looks like they're in just like an agony, you know, just like I'm carrying this heavy burden and they just, um, you know, they look toe up to the flow up. Um, it's, they're able to, you know, make a transformation by that expression, you know? So the good, the bad, the ugly, it's all a beautiful experience to be able to share with people. So like if you're, you know, if you weigh like uh, 400 pounds or if you, you know, whatever things that you're going through, you can totally use that as an as a opportunity to really connect with someone and to really just change somebody to, you know, show that part of yourself, you know? But it's not really part of yourself. It's just something that you're going through. But it's not our true authentic self. Like, all the things that we, you know, that, you know, that appear to like, you know, tear us down or, you know, just weigh on us and things like that. Like it, it looks like it's a part of us, but it's truly not, you know, it's just a, it's just a way to, um, express that, you know? So anyway, <laughs> uh, I hope that you'll have a wonderful day. I'm still going to post the videos of me cheating because I really liked the video and I thought it was, I still had a fun day. Um, and I feel like I learned a lot in that day. Like even though I'm, you know, still getting a sandwich, I'm still eating chips and I'm still off the bandwagon. I don't, uh, I don't think that that's going to discourage anybody from their own path. They're just going to say, oh, you know, um, so I'm, you know, making this video and I'm in a, you know, I'm expressing like the great learning experience that I had that time. And I think it was a breakthrough. Like even though I was off the bandwagon, it was a freaking breakthrough because I just, I was just like, wow. I mean, this is the first time in history that I've ever just not had the desire anymore. And I think that I, you know, I think I got delivered. And I think that was from the Savior. I think that the Savior really did take that um, desire away from me. Like the, you know, just craving all that bad stuff. And I think that he put a righteous desire within me to want to take care of my vessel and just, you know, reach my full potential. So he's like... You know, the Savior is like, you're ready. You're here to reach your full potential. You know, uh, your experience with, like, bulimia and just, like, you know, body shame and just, like, all that stuff, it was good for you. Like, it was okay for you to go through that because then maybe uh, you can connect to other people or you can, like, you know, change other, you know, um, help other people that are going through the same thing to make a um, transition. So it's totally worth it. Like, all of it. Like, I wouldn't take any of it back and so I just feel like I'm more filled with love than ever <sighs> and that's just a great thing like seriously if you are going if you have burdens and you just feel weighed down I mean it truly is there so that we can just be more filled with love when we overcome it I mean we are like a freaking powerhouse and we I think we you know you can connect uh, with people a lot deeper um, you know, when you go through those kind of experiences. Now, I don't think that you should, you know, make yourself have that experience because, you know, that may not be part of your uh, path. So I think that it's important to stay connected and, you know, not force yourself to, you know, go through like really hard, grueling things because that may not be part of your path, you know, and it doesn't make uh, somebody else that's going through grueling uh, hardship it doesn't make that person better than someone that has a really easy, breezy, beautiful life. Because you don't know. I mean, if you believe in past lives, which I do. I do believe in past lives. Um, I don't know. Maybe I do. I'm still trying to figure that stuff out. Like, before I used to think I believed in past lives, but I don't know what to think about that anymore. But, uh, okay, I'm going on a tangent. Uh, Y'all have a beautiful day, okay? Bye.